Hello YouTube, Jedimon2005 here with a review of SH Figure Arts Sky High from Tiger and Bunny. Sky High! So, the King of Heroes is here. When we see on the front, we see SH Figure Arts Sky High, and then his name again. Him with the figure, we see Tiger and the Bunny. Keith, Keith Goodman right there, his human form, Sky High. Him on the side with Sky High, and then the side just has the name. In the back, we see Flight Pose, Product Placement, King of Helos, Sky High, the Poseidon logo, Keith Goodman, um, his the booster parts, and he's flying, and he's doing all kind of Sky High things. He says, thanks and thanks again, and such. And so, we'll get him out. Um, as with all Tiger and Bunny figures, the back of the inside of the box says Sky High, Keith Goodman, and has the Poseidon logo down there. Which is the same thing that is on this purple stand. There we go. Like this. Sky High, Keith Goodman, and the Poseidon logo. So that's cool, right? He comes with himself, an additional head with a broken fin, the fin piece, which I'm not taking that out, booster parts for his backpack, and hands. So let's pull the figure out and see what we got. One. Okay, so here's Sky High, and then I'm going to show you this now. Here's a little thin piece right there. And here's the head with the broken fin. You can see it's missing a piece. And look, it looks actually like it's just like a face plate. So we can do this right now and just pull this off. See, and then he's got a naked face. And we just slide this in. It's like a little track and a peg. And now he's got, now it's in. So we'll put the old one back on. Now that we did that, this. Okay, it's this one. <laughs> so, here's Sky High. Let me put this away so I don't lose it. And get the little booster pieces out. Okay. Here they are. It's just booster flames. So, here we see Sky High. Here's his head, which we just saw a minute ago. We've got the Ustream logo right there. You can watch the CS Toys chat at Ustream. We got um, his shoulder pads. We got the Tomashi Nations logo. So our third figure to uh, promote something having to do with Bandai. Um, we got his skirt pieces, which will move. We got his legs down here um, and his feet, diecast feet. Just FYI, um, his head motion. His arms are fully articulatable. Uh, his legs will move with, uh, or the skirt pieces will move with his legs. Uh, we can see their full range of motion, despite the cool skirt. His backpack, back here, um, and it can tilt. That's cool. And then we can just take these and okay. So we pull off this piece and plug this in. And let's do both, just for full effect. There we go. So we got both in. He will be flying. And you have to make the sound effect. It is actually required by law to do so. So let's put these back on just um, for sake of the review. And we will keep on keeping on. So, there we go. So now, um, we'll go ahead and do some kind of a nifty pose. Um, I'll probably just do some kind of... We can just do a saluting pose, just because... Alright, so... He is going to turn his butt towards the camera. Because he is some, for some reason in a bad mood. Probably because he's not, you know, the highest in points or something. He's into that kind of thing. 
So push, put his other hand on, and it should go on. Whoa! That, I hate when things like that happen. It frightens me. Loud noises. <laughs> okay, so we can raise his hand to his head. He salutes. We'll say he's saluting Barnaby because that's the new king of heroes giving them getting the most points. Barnaby is awesome sauce and Keith Goodman is not. He fell in love with the robot. So he feels bad about himself for being a derp. So um yeah, I mean, there's lots of poses you can do. It's just that that one was simple and <laughs> uh, didn't require playing around with a whole bunch of things. So, uh, I mean, you can do all kind of things. The to... okay, that's just something made onto the skirt. I saw a shadow, and shadows were frightening. Um, I thought something was wrong with it, but it's not. So, okay, cool. Now stand properly. So. Is he worth it? Yeah, it's Sky High. It's another Tiger and Bunny figure. Um, the first three are really good. Sky High is definitely really cool. You know, uh, the last one being the huge rock bison. This one's more back in line with uh, Tiger and Bunny being, you know, a normal sized figure and having all the regular figure art joints as opposed to just giant ball joints everywhere. Um, so that's cool and all. Um, but the next one's Origami Cyclone and then Lunatic. So eventually I guess the girls will come out, but whatever. Um, and, but yeah, I really like him. He's cool. He's got that extra face thing going on. Um, like for when he got in that fight and the horn got ripped off or something. Um, which is kind of nice that they did that. Um, so he's like battle damaged. Um, they got the jet booster so you can do flight poses. Plus they got the stand to aid in that. But I don't really like these all these stands and such. But that's whatever. So uh, yeah, really cool figure. Definitely get him with the rest of your tiger and bunnies if you can find him. Walls. So until next time, check out the podcast website Ramboards, RazorEngineRambles.com, bringing you the latest Toku news in the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.